In this video, I'm going to show you my new favorite way to defend re wheel routes out of the gun bunch using match defense. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I also want to let you know that if you're new to the channel, I just released a major, major update to my match defensive game plan or my match defensive guide. And uh, we're talking out of the San Francisco 49ers playbook in the nickel normal defense. So if you want to get access to that, join the Patreon. We put, I think, about a two-hour update date out covering different things about match defense from formation to formation and why i believe it is still the best way to play defense in madden 22 so if you want to take a look at that there will be a link in the description where you can join the patreon by joining the patreon for just 10 bucks a month you get access to all my updates, but you also get access to all of my uh, offensive and defensive ebooks. I've got 15 of them in there. The Nickel Normal is just one of them. And so, uh, again, if you guys really want to get better at this game, I think that there's no uh, better place to do that than by joining the Patreon. So if you want to join it, again, I'm going to put a link to that in the description. Now let's talk a little bit about defending the Gun Bunch Mesh Spot. And the mesh spot is probably uh, the best money play out of bunch because it basically abuses pretty much every coverage in this game. Now the coverage we're gonna go with uh, in this video is cover four palms. And I'm just gonna back the ball off, kind of get the, the bunch onto the wide side of the field. And I will say that when you're running match, the most important players on your field are your safeties. If you have good safeties, you're going to have a good defense. So that's why I picked the Bills. You got Micah Hyde and uh, Jordan Poyer. But all we're going to do here is we're going to pinch our defensive line. And then I'm going to first show you the problem. So the problem is basically this. Uh, pretty much no matter what defense you run, this tight end wheel route with a low ball is wide open. Really easy to just throw that. You notice that match does decent, but it really doesn't stop it, right? It, it really doesn't. Um, and you can actually throw this against cover two, which you would think you wouldn't be able to, but you can actually hit it right in that little seam against cover two in a really hard to guard area. So what I like to do with my match coverage is I actually like to go ahead and and uh, user this safety right here, okay? Micah Hyde, gonna be my user. Obviously, if you were playing, you would wanna put a better, you know, maybe put Micah Hyde on the other safety or whatever, but uh, anyways, I, I'm gonna user this guy, and I'm gonna put him on a blitz. Now, when I do that, it's gonna change some of the rules of the match. It's gonna make all of the other quarter zones play a little bit differently uh, because of that, especially on the left side. It's gonna kinda let that corner know on the left side, hey, you're isolated over there. You don't have safety help anymore. I'm blitzing my user. Now, the next thing that we're gonna do uh, with this is we're actually gonna go ahead and uh, take this middle linebacker right here. We're gonna man him up on the inside slot. As you can see right there, man him up on the inside slot. And then this is really the critical piece that I wanna let you know that you can do to slow this down. And that is we're gonna bluff blitz the defensive end on the left side of the screen, and we're gonna vert hook the defensive end on the right side of the screen. So you see here, this is kind of what we have. Now in the guide, we actually walk you through why this works so well and some of the counter adjustments and things like that that people are gonna be doing if um, they start to notice what you're doing. So, you know, how do you kind of defend the, the bombs out of bunch? Or how do you defend some of the other concepts that they're gonna go to? We teach all of that in the ebook, okay? So this is just kind of for the wheel routes, but there's a lot of other layers to it. I think the bunch video itself is like 45 minutes walking you through exactly what's gonna happen and kind of processing it through it uh, with you. But anyways, whenever you put this vertical hook over here uh, to the right side of the screen, I just want you to watch what's going to happen. What you're going to notice is that vertical, because it's from the defensive lineman, he's actually going to carry it really well. And that's one of the hardest throws to thread in the game. And the reality is you're going to you're gonna get a click on there and probably be in a pretty good spot. Obviously, I'm usering uh, you know, two controllers. Um, if you really want to shut down the wheel route, go ahead and man the tight end up. If you really want to shut down the wheel route, just man up the tight end. And then what you need to do as a user is just in case something happens over the middle, you just got to kind of be aware of that. But again, with the vertical hook and the man coverage, it's almost impossible they're going to complete that. Obviously, a practice mode is practice mode, but in mud, you're going to have a little better ratings. You're going to have guys that are going to react to the ball, and that's why I love that. So we've shut down the wheel route on the backside or on the bunch side, which is really the harder one of the two to stop, primarily because... Um, you can't user it 
really, if you think about how you want to defend Bunch, especially at a match, you really don't want to have to go over there on that side of the field. You want to be able to kind of stay over here to this left side. So that vertical hook is really the key. And then last thing that I want to hit on real quick in this video is I want to show you that this uh, – by bluff blitzing the defensive end on the left, you're going to get a three rec hook, which against Bunch, what that's going to do is it's going to basically put him in man-to-man -man coverage on the running back. So what you're going to see here is he's going to have inside leverage on this running back. So if I try to throw that, I'm going to have a little bit of a difficult time. Now, obviously, you're going to be using over there, typically what you're going to see here, because we kind of know how the defense works. We know where we're weak, right? That's one of the things I love about the match defense and what we've taught in our eBooks is is we kind of teach you exactly what's going to happen, why the bombs work, why certain things are open, why they're not. We show you where you're weak at. And the reason that's important um, is because now that you know where you're weak, you know what you need to kind of help. So we're going to throw a hard flat out there just to kind of help a little bit uh, with, with you know, some quick routes that the uh, bunch offense is going to use to like out routes or whatever. And then our user. Well, we know we're weak over here, so we're going to kind of help and kind of poach in this area. And as you can see, one of the best concepts in Madden 22 is basically completely locked down. Guys, this is literally just the tip of the iceberg. If you want to learn more about this defense, I really ask that you would join the Patreon. I think we've put out probably the best defensive content uh, in Madden 22 this year over there. We put a crap ton, and I mean a crap ton of time labbing this game, learning this game, studying other people, trying to figure out exactly what we can actually do to piece this together. And I feel like I've actually been able to teach how you can utilize match by keeping the actual match coverage, not having the deep half, not having the inside third, not having to put zone drops in your match, right? There, there's certain things that we teach over there that I think is really going to help you process through and really understand not only why this coverage is the best coverage, how it works against Bunch, what you're vulnerable to, and then how to protect against it. So if you want to learn all of that stuff, head on over to the Patreon. There'll be a link in the description below. It's just $10 a month. And like I said, you get access to everything. You don't just get access to the match stuff. You get access to some zone drop stuff that we put out. You get access to all the formation eBooks with blitzes and coverage schemes and run defenses and all that stuff. You get a ton of offensive eBooks as well. So thanks for watching the video. If you're still watching and you want to go check out the Patreon, head on down to the description of the video and click the link that I put down there. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day.